Last time we came and encountered with these guys, it was on the DIY guys tour with Head PE. We got OPM. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? You guys just released yes. Golden State of Mind a couple weeks ago. Yes. You guys happy with it? Yeah. I'm yeah. super stoked on it. Yeah. And uh, you guys filmed a video from Dirty White. Yes. I was big in the video. And we know he's on the song. Why was he in the video? <laughs> we, couldn't, we couldn't do a video without him. Oh, we've done videos without him. Yeah. But he's in the song. I've never done a video that he was on the song without him. <laughs> um, is he still like a part of OPM or is this... Yeah, he's sort of the, uh, I don't know, he's like an honorary member. Yeah, he's an honorary member. That's exactly yeah. the word. <laughs> he's the unofficial official sixth member. Yes. Yeah. He's the sixth man. Just bring him off the bench sometimes. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's like the DH. It's a designated hitter. Yeah. The DR. It's a designated <laughs> rapper. Dad, my honey's gonna kill me. Um, but you guys were satisfied the way the video turned out for Dirty White. Yeah. Okay, you guys can stream it on YouTube. You know, all of that. Yeah. Um, okay, so we asked about if we. And you guys are a tour with the Expendables right now. Yes. How would you explain, like, pretty much compare the two tours? Because last time you guys were on a tour with Head P, that's like a roar, and this is kind of more of a groove mallow tour. Yeah, Expendables are get pretty, pretty gnarly though too. Like, pretty you know, much half Iron Maiden. Yeah. Half. Like, it's they're like reggae skin. metal. Like you fully think it's going to be a lot more mellow than it is. I mean, it's a lot of reggae groups for sure. It's definitely less gnarly than Head P. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but it's gnarlier than you think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fun. Like, you know, like we just like playing with cool bands. It's like whatever. You know, Head Pee are good friends of ours. So it's super fun to work to do with them. But um, the Expendables, are, it's been super fun so far. So this is only like the fourth, fourth, fourth night of the tour so far. But it's going to be a really fun trip. And you guys, be sure to check out this tour because the Expendables, you know, are dope. Um, Damn, I'm getting brain fried right now. We have a we have a pretty long history too with the Expendables because we um, we used to kind of be like based out of Santa Cruz and LA for a little while, the very beginning of the band. My sister lived up there for a long time. And so our some of our first shows ever were all up in Santa Cruz and they're they're from Santa Cruz and they've been around for a long time. So we did, you know, we've done shows with them up there over the years. And, and, uh, and they're also, you know, good friends with, with Pepper and Slightly Stupid and all part of that whole family, so it's just definitely intermingled with the suburban yeah, It's cool for us family. to do something that's not suburban noise too to get a different crowd, you know what I mean? Play to yeah. a different crowd because you know, sub noise family is always there, but you gotta, you gotta fans, try new shit, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, how do you guys deal with the annoying fans or just people that are almost like stalkers? Stalkers? Oh, the guy last night? Oh, yeah. The guy that wanted me to wear three quarter sleeves and sequins. <laughs> And he doesn't go to MySpace because he's, you know, it's against his religion or something. No, he was Mormon. Like, all right, dude, cool. The Mormons. He was Mormon, Mormon stalker. Yeah. He was wearing a suit and he was, he was like, I'm going to make big things happen for you guys, man. And we're like, cool, man. Thanks. Yeah. Nice to meet you. He meant he, he meant he was going to find you like four wines. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> As long as you get the okay from the first one, uh, <laughs> it's, oh, it's on. You're in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're we'll going some more dirt. Okay, uh, Big E released random stuff or random shit. How did you guys let him release some of that footage with you guys? Uh, it's all good. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Well, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, he definitely has a way of like having the camera rolling in the in the times when he just knows that you're just going to be regretting it really hard later. And then he's always good at finding little bits to, uh, to make sure they make it into the all final cut I'm, of yeah, the video. Yeah, but all I'm saying is he put his video out first, so we can answer with ours, you know what yeah. I mean? So, Call and response, yeah, baby. Yeah, you know. Don't act like we don't got some yeah. shit on <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. If you think we haven't been filming for years ourselves, yeah, he's in for it too. That's yeah, all yeah. good. It's all fair game. If you did it, you know. 
but you know, it's just the shit we do every day anyway, so I don't know. Hey, some of you guys got paid to do some of that shit. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm retiring on that on the money I got to jump in the fucking sewer. The twenty bucks lasted yeah. about four minutes. Yeah, that twenty bucks uh, paid the uh, my my copay for my insurance when I have to go to the hospital the next day. My Clean all the staph infection. <laughs> Third half of my half yeah. of my leg removed. Whipped. <laughs> You guys know Big B don't fuck around. No. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be really careful around Big B. Cause he's always up to something. You know. Like don't eat don't eat strawberries that he gives you. <laughs> <laughs> if he tries to give you a drink, you might wanna like take your shirt and like rub off the lip a little bit. You never know if he's rubbing it up on his nuts or something. Yeah. And be sure you give him his money or he might break a window. <laughs> That's an inside thing that he knows about way back in the day. Um, what would you guys say to the people that are going on to like these sites like Rapid Share and Mega Upload and downloading the record without going and purchasing the record or going to see you guys live? Um, it's kind of like it's kind of like you don't really want to blame it on. It's like don't hate the don't hate the player, hate the game. You know, like you can't be mad at the people for having that access. It's not really. It's not really the fan. It's like, it's like with the radio, you can listen to the radio and it doesn't cost you anything to hear a band's music. And the idea is that hopefully you become a fan when you hear it. But the thing is with the radio is that every time the radio plays your song, they have to pay you a little bit. And um, so it, do, it definitely comes back to the band. And it's the internet right now, you know, it's like it's these sites that you're talking about, they're making money selling advertising. So it's them that we're mad at. It's them that should be pay they should be paying back to the artists. You know, like MySpace. Every time someone hits your song, they should pay you a couple cents. Even if it's a couple cents, it's money in the band's pocket, and, and it, it shouldn't reflect on the fan. It shouldn't reflect. You know, we shouldn't have to pay for it. But the company who's become popular and making it accessible to all those people, they're making millions and millions of dollars, and they're not sharing it. And that's that's where the problem lies. You know.